So good evening everyone. Um, this is Chris with Crystallization and today I'll be going um, over adding products to your uh, open cart store. Um, this store is what it looks like. This is a custom built store. This is the front page of the store. Um, and assuming you've logged on to the back end, this is what you see. Default page of your back end of your open cart installation. So we're just going to go right to it. Under the catalog tab, this is where you have, you know, your fields to control your products and categories, which, you know, are attributes um, to adding products to your store. So let's go ahead and click on products. As you can see, I have a test product, test product, which is this product right here. You can go ahead and click on it. And this is what you see when um, on the front end, if you are about to purchase this product as a consumer. Now on the back end, Adding this product is relatively very easy. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and hit edit so I can explain where everything goes. Um, so the very first tab you see when you hit edit or when you try and add a product is a general tab. And this section um, on the product name, this is where you enter in a product name. Um, meta, description and keyword, this is strictly for search engine op optimizers or crawlers. This is for their information. Description, this is where you would type in a description of your product. Text description by Chris. Uh, next tab would be your data tab. Um, anything with an asterisk denotes required fields. So let's go ahead and type in, you know, test one would be, uh, uh, you know, model number for this particular product. The price goes there. Tax class. A tax class defines if this product is taxable or not. Um, if a non-taxable product would most likely be something that's downloadable, you know, like an e-video or something like that. Um, quantity. OpenCart has a built-in inventory control program. So typing the quantity of a product you have in stock would help control your inventory. And um, subtracting from your stock would help with that inventory as well. So if someone bought this product today, the number would drop to 499 as opposed to 500. Also, you can set what the minimum quantity this product can be ordered. So one would mean that anyone can purchase just one at a time or as many as they want. If you set this to five, meaning the minimum would be five. Uh, moving on, you have um, out of stock status. This tells, um, so assuming this was down to zero, your quantity was down to zero, technically the product becomes out of stock. So here you could set what would display to the user on the front end. You know, should it display in stock? Should it display two days out, pre-order, out of stock, things like that. Um, does this product require shipping? Yes, it does. If it doesn't, like an e-product, like a downloadable product, then that you'd say that's a no. Um, a SKU number, UPC, location. These are all optional fields. You don't have to fill this out. But if you have a SKU number, a UPC, this is where they go. Um, more SEO keywords um, for this product. Um, a product image location. This is where you can add an image for this particular product. You can either select one from a list of images you have already uploaded or you can upload a new image right from your computer. So you can come here and select an image. Once you select an image, you can go ahead and upload it and just select it to use it. That's it. Double click on it. And it pops up right there to be used for that image. Um, the date it's available, and um, your typical weight, height, you know, class, things like that. And this is really important if you are going by weight shipping. If you're maybe using UPS or USPS and you want to offer shipping based by weight. Um, next tab would be links. This is where you can define where this product goes. You know, OpenCut allows you to have a product in multiple categories. So assuming this product was going to be in necklaces and necklaces and earring sets, it would go, you could check both of them or you could just check rings. This product, this product can go into multiple categories, as many as you want. So this is where you set that. Um, the default store, keep that at default. If you have a downloadable product, that's where it goes. Um, attributes would, would uh, fall under uh, things like features, features of this product, um, options, you know, colors, sizes, you can come in and add uh, different types of uh, 
options for this particular product on the options. Uh, if you have discounts, that goes here. Uh, you could set discounts based on, based on quantity, how much they get, when it starts, when it ends. If you have specials, the exact same thing go, applies. Uh, multiple images. If you have uh, multiple images for products, like as you can see, I added two images, uh, additional images for this product. This is where you set them on the images. Uh, reward points. You know, you uh, Open Card has a built-in reward system, meaning you can allow your customers to buy items with points gained off of your website. So for this particular product, if you were to buy this product, um, you automatically gain 50 points. Let's just go ahead and use 50. And um, if you, that's actually if you wanted to buy this product, you get 500. You need 500 points to buy this product. But if you bought this product, you earn 50 points as a regular user, as a wholesale user, you earn 40 points. So that, that toggles into the user's uh, point pool and um, they can use that to buy products off of your store and uh, last but not least is a design tab and this just literally controls templates if you have multiple templates uh, you really would not use this because you, if you know especially if you're running a, a custom site so that's pretty much it for the website uh, for adding a product you can go ahead and save that once it's saved as you can see if i refresh this uh, it has the features of everything I put into the back end, you know, additional images right there, the main image of the product, additional images, description, which I typed in, test description by Chris, uh, the product um, code, you know, uh, reward point if you bought this product, 50, it tells you the product is in stock, the price, or whatnot, all there. Um, price and reward points. So, assuming you wanted to buy this, you could buy this for fourteen ninety nine, or you could buy this for five with five hundred points. Assuming you've earned five hundred points on this website. So, Open Card is a very wonderful card. I mean, it it's fully featured. It does everything a modern card can do. I mean, it's it's amazing. You know, just remember, adding a product would be on the catalog product. And here you can add a product, so uh, you can insert a new product, or you can actually clone a product. Assuming you had a product pretty close to this, you could select this like this and hit copy. And it actually copies that product for you. And you can actually come here, edit this product, you know, make a few changes, you know, to the name, SEO work, to the data, the model number, price, change the picture out a little bit. You know, like that, save, and you have two separate products, you know, because you literally just cloned the first one. So, very easy to use. I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, end this video now. I will come up with more videos on how to use uh, more sections of your open cart um, software. This is, uh, has been a very uh, productive tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know. Once again, I am Chris with Crystallization Inc. Uh, you can find me on www.crystallization.com, spelled as C H R I S T A L L I Z A T I O N.com. Thank you very much for listening, and I hope this was helpful.